The success of any organization is driven by the employees who work for them, and it is the primary responsibility of the organization to provide a work environment for its employees that complies with the applicable safety regulations and guidelines. The mechanical systems of a refinery or process plant often operate with the surface temperature that is higher or lower than the surrounding atmosphere. These surfaces, when coming into contact with the skin of personnel can cause a hot or cold burn. A project insulation specification often specifies personnel protection insulation system to insulate all hot or cold surfaces that could come into contact with the personnel who may be unprepared for a sudden thermal shock. This video will make you learn the extent and methods used for the personnel protection insulation system. Before proceeding, please be sure to subscribe to the IOGS International YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the notification of more valuable videos. You should also check the links given in the description box below to learn more about thermal insulation. The personnel protection insulation system is used in refineries and process plants, applying only to mechanical systems installed in standard working areas, and their operating temperature is 55 degrees Celsius, or minus 10 degrees Celsius and above. The two methods commonly used to protect personnel from hot or cold burns are, covering hot or cold surfaces with specific insulation and jacketing material, or use of stainless steel mesh guards. Using insulation material for personnel protection is by far the least preferred approach, and is only used when the installation of the mesh guard is not practical, or the specifications set the temperature limits for the use of mesh guards. The advantages of using a mesh guard system are, the insulated surfaces remain visible which will decrease the CUI potentials, and it is economical for installation and maintenance. Inspectors, dealing with thermal insulation, should understand the methods of insulating the surfaces that require personnel protection systems, along with the extent of the insulation or mesh guard. In most cases, the personnel protection insulation system is applied to all hot and cold surfaces that are accessible to personnel, and if the piping or equipment is going upstairs from the working area or ground, the insulation should be within these guidelines. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share with your friends and colleagues. For more valuable video notifications related to inspection and quality control, please subscribe to the IOGS International YouTube channel then press the bell icon. You can also visit the Institute's website to learn more about training and certification courses offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.